Amber's more classy. Look at her. She she looks like a hood rat. Hot you know, mix. I mean, Whatever. it's, it's oh, all that. You know? That's the best you done look since I done seen you since we separated. What are you talking about? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Alfred and Tanisha have been together for 14 years and married for 12 years. It seemed they were living the American dream, a loving marriage, two children, and a beautiful home. But along the way, something went terribly wrong, and accusations of cheating enveloped this once happy marriage. Basically, he's not a good father. He owes $30,000 in child support. For he, other children? Yeah. No, uh, these are for his two for children. Those two with you. In order to see my kids, I had to buy her diamond earrings. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a wild and bumpy ride today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tanisha McDonald and Alfred Pearson. Ms. McDonald and Mr. Pearson, you two have been married for 12 years. You have two children together. You do not want to be married anymore. And one of the reasons you don't want to be married anymore is sitting in the courtroom with us, Ms. Amber Duncan. Good day to you as well. You two have some financial issues that you would like me to resolve uh, in the course of your divorce. However, before we do that, Ms. McDonald, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today? Hi, Judge. How are you? Uh, well, my life is like a soap opera. It, it's, it's crazy because the, basically the story that starts off with me and Alfred, we met June of 98. Mm -hmm. And when we met, we were at a mutual friend's house and basically he kept pursuing me, so I went ahead and gave him a shot. Four months after then, we started sleeping together and I got pregnant and once I got pregnant or whatever maybe he started trying to go to church with me and we decided to raise our kids among moral Christian values and mm -hmm. we decided to get married mm -hmm. so we got married and tried to make things work unfortunately he had a separate life that he always would secretly be living obviously because he just his peace was just disturbed he just couldn't be peaceful so I just decided to go ahead and just separate I just I couldn't take it anymore it was just too much drama so she, basically he's not a good lying. father he mm -hmm. owes thirty thousand dollars in child support for he, other children he, no these are for his two for children those two with you so he has two child How support do you have him on child support okay basically and still what, married to him basically what took place was he made an agreement with me when we first separated that he would at least take care of the kids and he would give me six hundred dollars a month per right. ki, um, for the kids right basically he didn't keep up with the agreement so it caused me to resort into child support, support. Got so it. within the going back and forth we tried to get a divorce before and when we were trying to get the divorce before he kept hitting bankruptcy he was so emotional about it he mm -hmm. did different things like destroying stuff I just want to make the points back back to what I was saying about how he's not a good father he had both of our children outside of the house for like 30 minutes one time he, he's that acting like he was getting ready he was acting like he was getting ready to get the kids basically earlier that day and once I got ready to bring them Amber answered the phone he wasn't answering the phone and she's like Alfred go get the door acting like you know she was asleep or whatever I was and maybe, not there. And, and we could, me and the children, we could hear him in the background, like, you know how you can hear somebody whispering in at the door trying to make sure everybody's gone? So they went to the back door. We seen the car in the back, so we knew that, that he was there or whatever. Plus, Amber wouldn't answer the phone no more after that last call. So I, we turned the phones off. The kids were disappointed. They were upset because it was at nighttime. They were upset about that. Mm -hmm. And then the other point that I had to make, Christmas, from Christmas to New Year's Eve, he had the kids from Christmas all the way up until New Year's Eve to think that he was going to pick them up every day. Mm -hmm. By New Year's Eve, it was supposed to have been Amber's, one of her kids' birthday, and the kids were supposed to have been going over there or whatever, and they never did come and get the kids. I was calling them on the phone after the kids couldn't get them on the phone, and I'm like, are they serious? And I was very upset about it, so we didn't talk to him for maybe about a month. Okay, and okay, now, hang on, hang on. I'm going to let Mr. Pearson sure. respond. Respond to your alleg her allegations that you're a bad father. Well, actually... Um, in order to see my kids, I had to buy her diamond earrings in exchange He's to see my kids. He is a liar. So you're now, saying she keeps the kids away from you yes. and you have to buy her He's stuff. He's a liar. Three he three only months. see them quarterly because he's trying to help her my, raise those My kids, kids wrote a Christmas That's what the list. Problem is. I wasn't able hang to get on. everything. He wasn't trying to get none Ms. of it. Duncan, he waited four days before. Hang on. I wasn't oh, I able. Hang on. 
I wasn't able to get everything off the Christmas list. He's and liar. she kept my kids from me from eight He's months. He's a liar. He months. told my mom because... Hush, no. hush, 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 hush. I'm Another sorry, time girl. was, um, she comes up, like, the time when she said my car was there, I, I was not there, you know. And she came over. Liar. And, you know, my kids were upset with me, you know, due yeah, to the fact she lying. assumed well, I was in the house. Have you kept your word to your kids no. when you tell them that you're going to go he somewhere? Do you, do you show up? Yes. Always lie. Yes. Ms. Yes. Dunn about about have to have so we'll pay her, her up. I, I have to pay her point. gas money. Hang on, hang on, both of you. Ms. 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 Duncan, what do you have to say about the nature of your boyfriend's relationship with his children? Um, your Honor, she is fabricating this whole entire story. She is a liar, too. Now, now don't She's... interrupt, Ms. McDonald. I will sit you down. She is fabricating this whole story. Now, on Christmas, I, I personally have called Who her and asked for the children. Stop. So that they could come over. Now, we saw the children on Christmas. On Christmas, liar. we got the children. They got their presents. Liar. And then, after that, she goes, oh, you didn't let my, uh, let my daughter come home with her toys, so you can't see them. We didn't see them kids for three months after that. She's she keeps the kids. We don't comply with what she says, and we don't do what she does. They're she don't liar. let us see the kids at all. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn has strong words for the new woman in Alfred's life. They have no right to call you mother. That's their mother over there. You. And you're right, Your Honor. Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Tanisha McDonald, who claims her husband has been slacking on his parental duties since he's been with his new woman. But is Alfred's girlfriend Amber making it difficult for Tanisha and Alfred to co-parent their children? I said, man, I speak to my husband. She's like, my boyfriend. Mr. Pearson, why don't you ex explain to me the transition between wife and girlfriend, how right. you went from one to another? Well, oh, for one, classy. she's more classy. Uh, Amber's more classy. Look at her. She she looks like a hood rat. You know, I mean, Whatever. it's, it's all that. You know? That's the best you done look since I done seen you since I always look good. That's, you That's why you mad. About? That's why you mad, because I look better than you. I'm the woman that oh, you want to be. That's like why you're mad. We're not talking about nobody. Let me boo. ask you this. Do you we feel ain't talking about no bad more. about She you. desperate for a man. She Ms. McDonald? I'm sorry. Do you want to sit down? No, ma'am. You know, you're you know, he called you a hood rat. Yes. You heard him, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're it. And then you start to rattle off stuff that is demonstrative of that. <laughs> so if you want me to believe your version of what's going on, you can't behave in a manner that supports his proposition. Can oh, quit clapping, because I'm coming to you now, Ms. Duncan. Don't okay. you feel at all badly okay. about sleeping with another woman's husband? I don't understand how you can feel okay about that. Your Honor, the reason No why matter who or what she is. The reason why I'm okay with it, yes, I do feel bad, because that's something I'm going to have to take up with God. That's something I am going to have to face. Go on but the reason why I'm not hurt about it, because this Liar. woman has destroyed this man. I'm, I'm having a... I'm fighting battles how that she, she started. she destroyed him? She's taking him through... First of all, a woman, regardless of if he's not paying child support or not, he's still them children's father. You, you cannot know? use the children against him Liar. to get money you out of him. You. you can't sit there or, like, for instance, occasion, a, a birthday that just passed. Aww. He said, okay, we're she going to come to the birthday stop. party. We say, we, he says, we're going to come to the birthday party, me, Amber, and the kids. And she goes, oh, no, I only want to invite you. You can, she can't come. I only want you to come. She's, the girl is do you think it, no, no, Do you think it's not, to me, it would be odd if a wife was okay with a husband bringing the chick on the side to the party. Right. Cause that's what but you they want. were separating. And her separating kids come to my right. house. Her children come to my house. They spend time with me. So if it's such a big problem, then she shouldn't bring really like me at you. all. They think you're no, a liar. No, no, no. It's if they different. don't like me. They don't tell me that when they come over and okay, they tell well, me they love me and call me mom. She's so, not a mother. You don't let her let them call you mom. My kids I don't, don't force like them. Her. I, they my say children do you not like her. Correct them when they call you mom. They just they just have our son on the floor. No, you don't. You sure? Ask I you don't because of the way you told that story. You're but you no, I don't. Will you stop it? They have no right to call you mother. That's their mother over there. Thank you. And you're right, Your Honor. And you have the power to tell them what they will and will not call you. Do not allow that to happen. You oh. hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now, what do you have to say? I am so sorry, Your Honor. This has really just got me in a place because I, I really keep this in the back of my life, so it kind of makes things difficult for me to explain. But what I was getting ready to say, Amber is desperate for a man. She don't care who man it is, Amber's whether he's married drama. or not. not desperate. And the problem Stop. is, this is the problem that I have with her. 
called one day talking about our children, not thinking that she would answer the phone because she had not been doing so. She had just been letting him use her phone. So basically, I didn't know that. Once I learned this, I called and said, may I speak to Alfred? Yeah. Now I said, may I speak to my husband? She's like, my boyfriend. Amber, I said, better in my husband. And she no. said, yeah, my boyfriend. I said, but like, I, said, but like I said, but but like I said, this is the thing that I that I had a problem with. I'm with not that. your husband. She got the time out. She gonna come up to the kids' football field and and what she was gonna do. You're not gonna come nowhere. I she wants to try to be kids. complicated on the phone and give me attitude. At the football I don't game. think that she's a good person to be around my children. No, ma'am. Your Honor, that case with the football game, that case with the football game happened the night that she was saying we left the kids, quote unquote, outside for 30 minutes. She called my phone and threatened me and told me that if I was to show up to that football game. Man. I'm Her talking about the prime time. Well, and jump me and Not beat me Ravens. up if I showed up. We were starting and making a scene, making a scene there at the football game, and I would just leave because I don't like the conflict, you know, and I'm there to well, support the kids. Well, you can't do that, Mr. Pearson. Well, you, I'm that's supporting their, the kids. That's your children's mother. That's the, this is your, you got they a chick on the side. Come. It's your job to make the peace. It's your job right. to, you can't just wander off. Right, it was peaceful. You've got to make the situation right. You got to man up and do and, and say, "Hey, this is right. This is wrong. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're not gonna do." Right. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. You got to handle your business. Right. When divorce court continues, has Tanisha always had another man on the side? My family member, family member, caught her in the car Life. with her ex-boyfriend in my car, my car with her ex-boyfriend. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Tanisha McDonald, who claims her husband is behind $30,000 in child support. But has Alfred been throwing his money away gambling? Did you blow seven thousand dollars at a casino? Seven thousand dollars now. You don't. You know you don't roll like that. You don't nah. have a, that the kind of no, that kind of money to. to well, to, I had a little money to throw then. away. I had a little money back then. Miss Pearson, you say that Mrs. McDonald admitted to having sex with six different guys during well, the course Well, it was of more than marriage? that, but she only admitted to six. You know, I She's had. Lying. Uh, we was in a hospital one particular time, and uh, she kept leaving out the room. I, you know, my yeah, right. child was sick. And um, I checked her voicemail because I had the access to her, her phone, mm -hmm. and I checked, and it was a guy. He left a message wow. saying that um, she, he, you know, she, he saw that she was with me, wow. and he'll call her later. You know, Miss McDonald, were you running around on your husband? No. Come on, tell the truth. No, I'm getting ready. To, I, I'll tell you. Fourteen years, you never ran around on him. Listen to me. Within the time that I've been separated from him, look at him. Your Honor, within the time that I've been separated from him. He has took me through hell to the point where it's demolished my self-esteem and the Christian values that I was raised upon. So She's therefore, being vulnerable, talking to people, like how I'm talking to you and trying to explain this to you, it, it might be somebody that I thought that would see me, see me as a friend until I got things over with. And emotionally, if I've got involved with somebody, it's been within the time we've been separated. Never when we was together. Never when I you were together. When I was picture. together and I was with him, I was totally dedicated I found to a my marriage. Of my within the time, the two, in, in the two house, times that we separated, and she was in he's a, a liar. With him. Listen, she was in my my vehicle. Mm -hmm. My family member family member caught her in the car Liar. with her ex boyfriend in my car. My car with her ex boyfriend. With her ex boyfriend. With her ex boyfriend. While you two were still together, you While were we still together. At the time. My family member. He's a liar. My car. He's a liar. My how car. come it's taking you so long to get a divorce? If, if I mean, you and Amber have been he together not. how long? Three years. Because he don't yeah. want Three a years. Why, what, what's what's taking so long to get well, over the this? That's finances are. I'm behind in child support and I really don't have the money to play with because I, I pay six hundred dollars a month. If I wanted to reconcile today, he would. Uh -huh. You know, he a liar. these are the only two kids you have, right? Yes. Okay. Mrs. McDonald, you said that once Mr. Pearson blew seven thousand dollars in a casino. Yeah, he told me he would blow six and seven and five thousand dollars at a time, and he did the seven thousand dollars in one night. But he couldn't help me. You I didn't understand that. How could you not help me? Mr. Pearson, are you losing children? that kind of money in a casino and not no, paying your child support? No, ma'am. Yeah, I was paying child well, support at the that's, time. That's where he got it from. In, he said in money it. orders. Yeah, but I want to know about the seven thousand dollars. Did you blow seven thousand dollars at a casino? Seven thousand dollars now. You don't. You know you don't roll like that. You don't no. have a, that, the kind of no, that kind of money to. to well, I had a little money to then. throw away. I had a little money back then, mm -hmm. but you, to, in you know, order to make blowing seven grand. An okay thing, right. you gotta have a lot of money. 
Yeah. You know? You Just right. because you have a couple of dollars in the bank doesn't mean that you can go and spend it all. You've got kids, you've got, you've right. got stuff to pay for. Right. When Divorce Court continues, Tanisha offers Alfred a gift. Is this a picture of you? Yeah, that was when we were in our marriage, Your Honor. Divorce Court returns with the case of Tanisha McDonald and Alfred Pearson, who are divorcing after 12 years of marriage. I think he kind of forgot about his life. These well, are some pictures what do you, what that do you I want, have. What are you trying to because show me? Because he said he don't have any pictures of the kids, so I just basically <laughs> wanted, wanted you to present those pictures to him to let him have, because those are pictures that I pay for, spending my money on by myself without assistance. Well. Is this a picture of you? Yeah, that was no, when we, we were in our that. marriage, Your Honor. We, huh? we don't need that one at all. You should go back to this look. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I it's have no problem. Look. I have no problem with that. This was just different. This was something that I've only done different. twice. Well, it's different, all right. Yeah. <laughs> he can have these for keeps? Yes, he can have them. I don't want her picture, actually. The one of her. You know, I don't need that. You know, that's... When you get the sleeping she around and stuff, you don't... She had pictures of my you, friend. You forget about tell what your life about, is. Tell me about the like uh, $750 that you want from him, Ms. Ms. McDonald. Okay, basically what took place oh. was in February of 2008, he told me that he... He told me that once he got this job, mm. if I could help him get back and forth to work, that he could start paying his child support consistently. So I was trying to help him. You know, even though he acts ignorant to me, he get the calling me different names and talking to me crazy sometimes, I still wanted to help him. So I ended up, I was taking him back and forth, but it was too exhausting for me. I got a rental car. When I got the rental car, he's like, um, he, would, he, he said he only wanted a week. That was the original agreement. He told me that he would pay me to do so. So anyway, he called me and I he, paid said, could, he said, could he keep it? He said, could he keep it for an additional week, your honor? And I allowed him to She's do lying. so. Once we, once we got to the rental car place and he was supposed to have the money and stuff, when I went in there with my credit card and the money that I had in my account, they, they took it out and he's like, well, I don't, I don't get the check until after the, after he didn't get out the rental car and he's in my car. So I was so upset, I hurry up and dropped him off. And I was like, I don't appreciate that. You need to give me my money. So he was like, he was going to pay me in the morning. He never paid me my money, $750. And what happened was, I ended up getting, by me already having, I already had a, um, I already had like different bills and stuff that I had to pay, Your Honor. And basically, what I ended up doing was, it ended up coming out of my account, and to this day, that account is still negative. Thank you, John. Because of okay, him. Now, what is your response now, to now that? Now listen, person? I paid her. Like, I rent a car. She did rent a car for me for six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Okay, that, that's kind of high, you know, for a rental car for six hundred dollars. Right. Know? Now, she made me keep the car. For additional week, you know, because she had the information. He just don't want to so pay. So I had to, she said it cost another $600. So I'm like, okay, liar. you know. So what I did, I had just got an apartment. And I bought an a air mattress, a microwave, and, you know, and, you know, I didn't have a, a, another $600. Plus, I thought it was so unreasonable. So you say you paid her $600. Yes, I she paid her $600. And I also. You say he never did. I also no, I took. The things that I had bought back to the store to give her the money so she can leave my apartment He's because she was getting domestic. Okay. He's she was a liar. getting real. It was getting messy. He's a liar. She was getting real. He's a liar. Ms. McDonald, I think you a hot mess, and I and I worked really hard to get past what you got on because you can't judge people by what they wear. But you talk a lot and you have a lot to say, and I really do. I don't think you do anything without planning it out and all that. And I'm not quite sure I believe what you tell me. I think I believe him. I think he comes across as a rational individual. And having said that, I also believe him about the six hundred dollars. I believe he paid you back. I believe he did all that kind of stuff because he told many too told me too many details about the stuff he used and he did. So I'm not going to give you anything other than a little advice. You know, throttle back, calm down, be cool. Your kids will be as crazy as you make them. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. Tanisha says that after the show, she wanted nothing more to do with Alfred. Though he promised to provide the children money, he never has followed through with it. He has reached out in an effort to continue his family relationship, which currently is ongoing with his son. Tanisha says she has come to realize that Alfred will never change and that she has to think about her welfare and that of her children.